All right. Let's try to do this for a second time. All right. This is our pre-market pulse scan. And we're looking at what's happening in the pre-market as well as what we can expect on the sheet. All right. Real quick of note, we had uh, economic numbers come out. And it's already pushed the um, the uh, the DGLD up to 58.46 in pre-market, so that's two dollars above our entry price. We'll have to see how the market opens. I'm going to keep my orders working on the buy stop side. The market should dip, you know, somewhat first. Uh, we'll see what it what happens. I'm not going to go ahead and um, do a limit order because it may not get back down to the entry price and fill the gap right away. So let's see what it does. Let's let's let this run away and do what it does. Gold dipped all the way down to 1188.30. Now it's back up to 1195.50. It's still down $15.90, and that is huge. All right. Looking at our sheet, the first thing we're going to look at is the left side of the in play t uh, tab. We're going to look at the 911 alerts on the buy side of things. And you'll notice we have AGQ, DUS, JDST, Doug, DWTI, and UVXY. Uh, we're going to disregard, well, let's just look at it. All right. On the AGQ, even though you have a rally alert, notice how right now the market is not pulse waving, and we closed yesterday at 35.49, and the market has a 42.59 entry price. Now, it is to be noted that both the pulse wave price trigger and the trend line resistance are the same number, which is a powerful indicator. But as this number goes down, and we get closer to uh, bottoming out process in silver then this will be an entry price right now the market is so far away there's no way that that's going to enter uh, fill unless unless you know the market hits the bottom and starts to rally so let's go down to the next one the next one is dust all right you can see dust is pulse waving all right uh you know that because there's a zero under the trs column and the entry price is 52.36, and the market closed at 50.40. So that one is definitely in play and one to watch. Likewise, the JDST is about two dollars off its entry price of 36.61, and it is uh, pulse waving. And if you look at Doug, it's about four dollars off. So that one is getting close, but not quite just yet. Uh, taking a look at DWTI. That one is very far off, so even though it has a rally alert, it is not in play. Um, it's about $20, $22 off, so that's not in play. Uh, UVXY is an interesting one because the volatility shares are very interesting components. They don't just alert to volatility, but they also move with the market. In other words, UVXY, you want to buy if you see the Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, Russell continuing an uptrend. The UVX, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm inverted. The UVXY, you want to buy when you see that the Dow, the S&P, NASDAQ, Russell are in a downtrend or a bear market. All right. The SVXY, you buy if you see that the market is in an uptrend. It also signifies, you know, increasing volatility. So it's it's weird. These volatility shares are weird. But anyway, that's how that works. So UVXY is saying that the market is five dollars off from a, from a very substantial correction. Five dollars is a huge move for the UVXY in light of current conditions of the last you know year, year and a half. Even during the Brexit, I think it only popped up three bucks. That's nothing. If it can only move three dollars in Brexit. It's going to take a lot to move this thing, but we're still watching and trade it. It's still a vehicle worth monitoring and watching. All right, next on our list is our 411s. We got uh, USLV and TWM, which is the Ultra Short Russell, and the, um, the Ultra Long Silver. Now, you notice that the silver closed at 1360, and so we're 
you know, several dollars away, so that one is, is not in play. Likewise, the Russell, Ultra Short Russell's $4 off, it's not in play. Looking at your 411 though, alert. The 411 alert is a uh, derivative of the 911 alert. It is also a rally alert, but it signifies an oversold condition. It means the market has pulled back and corrected somewhat or had some degree of profit taken, and it's ready to resume its upward trend or upward momentum. The interesting thing with these two is that one is $4 off its entry price, and the other one is $5 off its entry price. So they're really not in play, but they're something to watch. Both of these are in a downtrend, a locked-in downtrend. We'll, we'll look at that in a second. And we know that it's in a locked-in downtrend because the trend under the downtrend column is locked. You have 18 and a 70. And under the negative momentum column, you have an 11. All right, so remember, 11 means that you don't have any other alerts that you need to pay attention to, but you do have locked in negative momentum. Remember the video with the green extending line on the top of the chart or the red extending line on the top of the chart? That's locked in trend momentum, and that's a powerful, powerful signal. All right, moving up, let's look at the 311 alerts. We have HACK, AOR, DIG. GBTC, which is your Bitcoin ETF, GME, GNR, TQQQ, which is your long NASDAQ, PIO. Really haven't talked about that much in several years, but we're going to start talking about it again. FedEx and SVXY. Starting with PIO, that's your, your PowerShares Global Water ETF. That is a, that, in, in years to come, uh, if the global elite have their way, that's going to be a very powerful ETF to watch. Now, it should be noted that since 2010, this, the price is still the same. The price is still the same as it was in 2010, and it's not moved in six years. You have pro approximately a two-hour trading range. That's it. In order to make real money, you would have to trade millions of shares, <laughs> basically. So that one is a dog, but we're watching it because of its significance to the New World Order. It's on the same vein as hack. All right. So if this ETF gets on and going, it, it has the potential to be a thousand dollar stock or higher. Just like hack has a potential to be a several hundred dollar stock, at least three hundred dollars. So we watch these because they once they get into a, a strong bullish trend, we have no choice but to ride them. All right, your 311 is your swing trade alert. It means that you have locked in positive momentum, that green extended bar. In addition to that, it also means that you have uh, positive swing VIX. We'll cover more of the swing, what a swing VIX means and a positive swing VIX means um, in the academy and during the webinar. But suffice it to say, uh, the algorithms are picking up that these here, these three one ones, all but one of them is pulse waving positive, and that's the PIO. PIO is not pulse waving positive. It's a dollar and twenty seven cents away from from uh, from from breaking out and pulse waving positive. And um, now that doesn't sound like a lot. If that was a TQQ or JNUG or JDST, I would say that that was a red alert in play. But because this one doesn't move that much. You know, it's 27 cents away. Um, who knows? So that's just one to watch. The rest of these, though, on the 311 side of things, they're right there. They're ready to pop. So just watch them if you're, if you're into those particular markets. All right, next one is our 78. 78 means there's no other alert for you to be mindful of, but it's letting you know that it is Pulse waving positive. It's just a confirmation that it's pulse waving positive. It's one of your last signals that you'll get before you get to a zero no signal whatsoever. And you'll notice that hack is pulse waving positive, and so is Bitcoin, the actual Bitcoin. So you have to take a note of those entry prices uh, for those two. 
All right, the next one's up is your 40 reading. All right, you have a 40 alert. A reading of 40 means that there's nothing else for you to take note of except for the market is in a positive swing VIX. All of these are in a positive swing VIX, but they're within, but this positive swing VIX is happening within a locked and downtrending market uh, with negative momentum locked in with the exception of one, which is the ICLN, which is your iShares Global Clean Energy ETF. So is, what, is, what are we saying? It's possible that the markets maybe may have hit a bottom and that they could be, this could be the beginning bar of a correction. So you could be getting in on the ground floor and something. Um, now, it should be noted, too, that the ICLN is positive pulse waving. So it's, it's, it's saying that this has already started. It's already broken out. It's already stopped trending down. So this one is a good one to watch. Um, you know, it's a very interesting one. All right, uh, going to the next one here. The, uh, the rest of these are not pulse waving positive at all. Uh, but they have the potential for breakout. So look at where the market closed versus the entry price of the TRS and the first pulse wave, and you get the, the full picture of what is possible. For instance, uh, the UGLD. Once gold gets rocking, you know, from, from yesterday's close, it's only a dollar away from rocking. Same thing with the JNUG. It's about, you know, $2 and something away. So... These are ones to watch. Uh, now, in light of what happened this morning with gold getting whacked uh, on the back of those economic numbers, you'll just have to pay attention and watch it. Um, gold, well, gold being down 20 bucks right now, that is hugely significant. You cannot ignore that. We hit a low of 11.8830. It's down 20 dollars and 80 cents as I speak. That is humongous. Uh, you cannot ignore it. The mark uh, in the pre-market, the um, the DGLD just hit a new high of 58.77. So this is significant, and you cannot ignore it. And it looks like it's trying to lock in something too. So this is huge um, turning points happening in these markets, and you have to be privy to it, and you can't ignore it. So anyway, even if you know the market fills you and you know, jumps up and, and fills you. Uh, don't worry about that. Let the market do what it's going to do. That's a lot of power to happen, so it's going to take you right along with it. Just remember that. All right, so last but not least is the 11s, and the 11s are signifying that you have locked in positive momentum. It just so happens that all of these 11s under the positive momentum reading are positive pulse waving as well. So that's something to look at. And one of these is the dollar, the UUP. Interesting. All right, 2624 is the entry price, and the pre market dollar is at 101.80. At the, yeah, it's at 101.80. That's a new high. 101.80 is where it is. If it closes above 101.80, I have to tell you that signifies a locked in new bull market trend for the dollar. Who knows how high it can go? If we close above 101.80, I have to throw that out there. A close above 101.80 this week will show how much force is behind this dollar. And we could be looking at a, an amazing run in this dollar, which will take Bitcoin with it because Bitcoin and the U.S. dollar are secretly married. All right. That's all I got for now. So remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can, give nothing back. And don't forget to set those stops when you get filled on the DGLD today. Peace.